I had a client the other day that was we were talking about aliens. Oh, don't get me started. And yeah, like I'm fucking for a long time I've been big on that shit. I am obsessed. And um and she I I just asked her and I'm like, so do you, you believe in aliens? And she's just like, no. Are you fucking retarded? Yeah. Like, are you fucking retarded? And that's that's I it I wasn't expecting it. I just I just was quiet. I'm just like it threw me. I'm just in my head I just assumed that everyone believed in aliens. She was like, no. Nah. I remember when <laughs> Was it a year ago when the Congress had to have those meetings about aliens? Yeah. I was like, I remember walking into the shop <coughs> and my mum was there and I was like walking in and I stormed in and I was pacing and I was like, it's going to happen. And she's like, what? And I was like, fucking aliens. You think COVID and shit was wild? Like you fucking this, this yeah. and that and this and command favour and fucking this, this yeah. and that. And she's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's because that's I was talking to people about it and I was pumped. I was excited and they're just like, okay. And I'm like, there's a congressional <laughs> hearing understand. about fucking aliens and footage and <laughs> congressional hearing. And they're just like, what? Like, okay, cool. And I'm like, no, that's the fucking government admitting that you aliens don't exist. Like, You don't understand. You don't understand. The significance of it is the government saying that they exist. They're that's, having a hearing about it. That's Fuck. that's going to be part of my tattoo. Yeah. I gave him like a rough idea. I was like, I want, Yeah. I want, I messaged him. I was like, I want a, I think I said, I want a, a chimp or an ape eating a mushroom. Oh, I've got one of them on my leg. I want him eating yeah. a mushroom and then I want his head fucking like kind of exploding and then I want yeah. just like this, like aliens and fucking I want a Joe Rogan picture. Yeah. And this, this and that. Because I, nothing excites me more than alien shit. Yeah. Nothing will ever excite me more than aliens, ever. And if you don't believe in them to me... You, I get so upset. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I just, I get, because it, yeah. it's how fucking lonely yeah. if we, there's no alien. They might not be aliens. They might be like interdimensional fucking travelers yeah, or right, time right, travelers, right. whatever. Yeah. But like, there's so much evidence. It's so fascinating. I hope we find out something. In but before we die. Oh, d- dude, did you, how did you go balls deep in that Bob Lazar documentary? With that? Oh, was, yeah. Like that's <laughs> so like, crazy like, about b- Before it. all that, I knew about Bob Lazar. Like when his episode just... with Joe Rogan is one of the most fascinating episodes he's ever done. Yeah. Yeah. To me anyway. Yes. Yeah. That was fucking brilliant. Like I was, um, oh, here's, here's one. There's someone did a painting. There's this guy, Mike, um, uh, Mike Dorsey did a, painting of this dude he's a full japanese style but he does like kind of pop culture or stories we do a massive japanese painting about it and what's he, his name sorry uh mike dorsey mm. he's i don't know where he is maybe the states but he did this painting of this guy this not particularly about aliens but this there's this guy it's called the coral castle have you heard of the coral castle no uh it is what where oh no he um he had this missus back in the day. Like, this was like, he was born late 1800s. And he had this missus and they were going to be married. And she left, basically left him at the altar type deal. And he built her a castle. So this was in Florida, I think. And he built her a castle out of stone. And he quarried three million tons of stone himself and he built this castle some of the some of the blocks were i think 30 tons up to 30 tons but like an average of 15 tons and he did it with like three sticks and pulleys so like you know like tripod sticks and pulleys and he had a black box at the top of his three sticks that with the pulleys and so this cunt was moving 30 ton stones with three sticks and a pulley and a black box. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. And it took him like 26 years to complete, but it's this, you can look it up. It's like this, this beautiful kind of castle thing, massive bricks. Like, you know, if you, you look at the pyramids, it's like the, the weight of the pyramid blocks compared to these, like himself in the dark of night, he only worked at night. And with this little black box that he had, fucking moved all these fucking 30-ton stones, well, average 15-ton stones into place, you know. 
oh. to build this castle for his for his missus. And did she fucking get back with him? No, she never saw it. Piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at us break up with someone who fucking go around with flowers. <laughs> <laughs> he built her a fucking castle. And yeah, he called her. He, he called her his sweet sixteen. And I found out that um, Billy Idol had this song "Sweet 16 and it was written about this dude. No shit. Yeah. How, when was this? The when the dude built it. Mm. That was, I think he died in like 1950 something. Oh, like that. so this was how the so fuck? So it was kind of early, early 19s. We were talking about it with my last guest, Manners. I'd love to go back and fucking see the Egyptians do their thing, eh? Yeah. I got I got this like kind of thing like the whole life after death type shit i don't really have an opinion on it but i f- would really hope that when you die you get all the answers you know it's like like you're dead and you're somewhere and you've got like youtube in front of you and it just but gives you the story it's like you know it's bigfoot real and fucking google it and it mm, tells you the answer. just unlocks everything yeah you have every answer to everything that'd be cool that would be fucking cool Mm. Yeah, it's, the aliens thing though. Just I really hope we see so, like the biggest, the biggest I think UFO sighting or the most like with the most people at the same time was in Australia. Well, the 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 um, school mm. in Melbourne it was like fucking fifty or hundred people saw the yeah. exact same thing. Is is it was a school in Melbourne, and they, was it rural? Yeah, I, I believe it. Can't was. remember where in Melbourne, but yeah, it was like a UFO whatever came down hovered like v- pretty close to the floor and every single person saw the exact same thing yeah, yeah. How can some, you- some kids went towards it some kids mm. ran the other way or like- how could oh fuck and they're, they're all still alive too i've never seen them. anything personally you haven't no no i've I- seen some odd shit i think it would happen in like if it did happen i think it really it happens in rural areas more than anything so you'd probably have a better shot than me because i've always lived in more yeah and like I- we encompass the lights of like the sky is so clear, you know. Yeah, but here it's fucked. I've seen yeah little lights kind of flying one way and then they'll dart the other way, you know. But you always try and like I'm all for it all, but I always try and convince myself that it's just there's an explanation. If that it, Commander Fravor shit doesn't like mm. explain it, all, like he's not a normal person. He's a fucking elite level IQ yeah. fighter pilot jet yeah. fight. Like, do you know what I mean? He's yeah. like an elite level pilot for the army. Yeah. He has no insanity in him at all. And, he is and, the, mo- the most stable motherfucker yeah. you'll ever meet. And he's not like the dude that was fucking his whole life was into it. No. Know? He's just like. He's like, I've seen this shit. Yeah. Like, I, I had to chase it. But it's funny, like, the tinfoil hat dudes, they're the ones that now have been proven right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, everyone called them crackpox for so many years. It's the same thing about Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. It's like I remember watching I didn't I don't watch it anymore, but I used to dip my toes into Alex Jones every now and then. Yeah. And he was talking about Jeffrey Epstein like fucking six years before yeah. it happened. Yeah. And everyone would think he's he has fucking ridiculous ideas with other things. But he was talking about Epstein like there's this island the elites go to and they fuck yeah. kids and Everyone's like it's all blackmail and this this yeah. and that and you're like oh that sounds crazy yeah. but then it comes out and it's like oh it's not crazy and then p diddy and then fucking bill Co- like yeah you know what i mean yeah it's fucking wild <laughs> it's full i know and, and that's just shit we just don't know we don't know what's going on we live in such a different world yeah. we, we live in such a different world to the rest of like that population 